All right, let's continue with example three and the crickets chirping. So we've already seen this scattergram a couple videos ago. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add the equation of the line to the data points. Um, we found the line last video, y hat was 0.46 plus 0.2030x. Um, so if we want to graph a line, I like to use a different color so that they don't mix with the actual data points, right? The red dots, the red points are the actual data values. So I want to use something different. I usually use an X in a different color. So let's use green. Why not? Um, so X and Y. This green is really bright. Let's try a different green. Um, so we can pick any X we want. Um, I probably wouldn't pick 60 because it's not on the graph. Um, but maybe we could pick like 75 and 90. Just I'd like to spread it out. It makes the line easier to draw. So we'll plug in 75 and 90 so that we can graph the line. So we'll do 0 0.46 plus 0 0.203075. 0 0.46 plus 0 0.2030 times 90. And these are my predicted values. And then the zero in front or not is the same thing. So times 75 and then change it to 90. So at 75 degrees, we think about 15.685 chirps and 90 degrees would be 18.73 chirps per second. And two points is enough to graph a line. If you wanna do one more, you're welcome to, but two is enough. And we're just gonna estimate. So 75 and 15 would be about right there. 15.6, right, I'm estimating I'm making it look different than the points though, so I remember where it came from. And then 90 is about 18.73, so that would be a little under 19. So maybe right there. And then connect them to make a line. So don't connect points, connect the two X's. Um, the line will not go through all the points, it's not possible. But this is considered the best fitting line because we used regression. Cool. So notice I, I maybe go through two points, but overall I'm doing the pattern of the points. Not, it's not like a zigzag to fit all the points. It's a straight line that fits the pattern of the points. And we usually consider the y hat values to represent the average y value. So it should make sense that 90 degrees, not every cricket is gonna be exactly 18.73. But at 90 degrees, the chirps should be 18.73 on average, right? Maybe one cricket is at 19 and one cricket is at 18, right? But on average, we'll get 18.73. So let's use the um, regression equation. I actually erased this there, um, that you obtained to find the chirping rate at 72 degrees, 80 degrees, and 32 degrees. So we'll do the same thing we did here, but we'll plug in 72, 80, and 32, and we'll find the predicted y hat values. So if you feel confident, go ahead and plug those in. We'll plug in 72 into the equation we found. We'll plug in 80, and then we'll plug in 32. And we already did this, so you can just hit second enter and just change those temperatures. So 72 gives me 15.076. Back to that on average conversation. Um, so this is saying at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, the chirps per second is 15.076 on average, right? Again, every cricket will vary a little, but on average, we should get around 15.076. And then once you're ready, go ahead and plug in 80 and 32. Sixteen. So at 80 degrees, we expect about 16.7 chirps per second. And then 32, 32 is, oops, that's 30, sorry. 
32, I got 6.956. So that's cold, right? 32 degrees. And there's an issue with 32 degrees, so I'm going to separate it. So predictions made for x values outside of the given data range are considered unreliable. So what I mean is my range was maybe like 70 to 95, right, in that range. 32 is way over here. Um, 100 would also be outside the range. But they're considered unreliable. It's unwise to make these predictions because um, it's possible that the linear pattern does not continue. Beyond the data we've collected. So sometimes we have a nice linear pattern from here to here, but it changes over here. It's different. So we don't know. We don't have data from over there. So it's not reliable. We call it an extrapolation. So this one would be an extrapolation because x is outside of the data range. 32 degrees is way out, right? And then if you Google it, it actually will tell you that crickets are not alive at 32 degrees. So this was a bad prediction. But according to if the line continued, this would be the prediction. But the big thing there is if the line continued. We know the line is reliable in this data range, but it's not necessarily true over here or over here. So make sure you pay attention to where the data was collected from as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.